it's little fun and today I am making a hair tutorial on how I styled my Khaleesi wig from season one so if you want to learn how to do this just keep watching so I'm gonna be styling this wig on my friend Marissa because I like using live models for my wig styling and so I'm gonna start off by parting it the way I want it I want some front pieces so I'm just gonna separate those from the rest of the hair and then clip the rest down And then I take my top section and I start doing a one strand Dutch braid. So you take both pieces and you go under the middle strand and then whenever your top strand comes back up you add another piece from the top of the hair to it. And then you just continue doing that until you run out of hair to add. Do not add hair from the bottom, just the top for the top braid. Once you run out of pieces to add to the braid, you just turn it into a regular braid and then tie it with a little elastic once you get all the way down to the bottom. To finish the top braid, you're going to move on to the bottom braid. So I sectioned some hair to leave in the front and then I just separate it into three pieces again. And then you're going to start off with another Dutch braid, except this time you're going to take pieces of the hair from the top and the bottom and tuck them underneath. Your grace. Grandfather, tell me about the Targaryen girl and her dragons. When you feel satisfied with the braid length, just go ahead and again turn it into a regular three strand, strand braid and add no more hair to it. Once you secure your last braid, you go onto the other side and repeat the process for the top and the bottom half. And then you take another elastic and you tie both of the braids together and then you undo the, um, you undo the elastics for both of the braids so that it's just one long strand of hair for both pieces. Then you take two outer sections from the bottom of the bottom braid and you can either wrap it around both pieces of hair or just the bottom braid and then secure it with a couple bobby pins at the bottom. For this finished look I decided that I just wanted the bottom secured with a little hair wrap and then leave the top alone so, to, so that they remain two separate braids. Okay, once you're done with that, you can just curl the rest or whatever you want. And as you can see, the braids are very secure and don't move around whenever she's flipping. So thanks for watching.